Owen was a teenager when he began gambling in his parents' pub. But what was at first an exciting pastime soon took over his life. He eventually lost his home, job and life's earnings, ending up homeless. Today, he's a recovering addict who dedicates his life to warning others of the dangers of betting. My problem with gambling has been completely crippling in every possible way, financially, socially, um, job-wise, you know, emotionally, um, in every way you can imagine. Um, I started gambling from when I was very young, and from 15, 16 years old, I've continuously lost lots, lots of money, and so I've ended up in a situation where I've lost huge opportunities in my life. A new report by the European School Survey Project on Alcohol and Other Drugs suggests that online gambling among teenage boys has become a public health concern. One in eight students aged 15 and 16 now gamble frequently, despite laws against it. 23% of teenage boys across all of the 35 European countries said they've gambled online in the past year. This figure compares with only 5% of girls. There was a time where if you wanted to gamble, you had to come somewhere like this, where you have to be 18 or over to enter. But with changes in technology, gambling companies are increasingly going online, and some of their advertising is drawing on children's themes, films like Ice Age or The Wizard of Oz, and some campaigners say this is fueling a rise in gambling among children. And both gambling adverts and online games with a betting theme are being blamed for this new trend. As children spend more time online, they're able to pass as adults either because of inadequate age checks or fraud. The European Gambling and Betting Association says it works with parents and educators to prevent underage gambling. Owen says gambling is still seen as exciting and fun. He wants more done to highlight the dangers he suffered firsthand. Miriam Francois, TRT World, London.